What's up, guys? I am the Seaster, and you have landed in Curlin's Place. Thanks for dropping by. Over here in Curlin's Place, we do beauty, fitness, and fashion for the woman over 50. I also like to throw in some spiritual videos here and there. So if you're into that type of thing, then go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the perfect brow in three easy steps. These steps are beginner friendly. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, the things that you will need to perfect your eyebrows is a sharpened eyebrow pencil. And I like to use the Maybelline. I've been using this pencil for like 20 years. So whatever eyebrow pencil you're comfortable with, you need an eyebrow pencil and you need a sharpener because you want a sharp tip like so. Also, you're going to need a spoolie to brush the brows up. You're going to need brow gel. I normally like to use Anastasia by Beverly Hills, but um, I'm out. So right now I am using Magic Correction Eyebrow Gel in brown, dark brown. So whatever color fits your face, whether it be a light brown, dark brown, blondish, whatever color, that's the color eyebrow gel you want to use. You're also going to need some concealer and a concealer brush. So I use a very thin headed brush. This is like um, a lip liner brush. So a brush like so, and I have a palette of concealer. Now you can go, y'all see my mine, this is very well used. So you can go lighter, you can go your natural, what's gonna blend with your natural skin tone. I usually like to do mine a little lighter because I like mine to pop out. And then you're going to need something to blend the concealer. You Normally, something with kind of a pointed head is good so that you can really get close up to that line. So what you need to do in three steps is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to brush up the brow. Like so. Brush it in the shape it goes. Then you're going to make your outline. So you're going to outline your own natural brow. So what I like to do is I like, as you can see, I already have one brow done. And if you compare this brow with that brow, you can see this one is a little thicker and wider because I like to make my brows just a little bit wider than their natural shape. So I do that at the top. So I go above my hairline at the top, just a little bit around my corners. I come down to my tail like so. Now, when I do my bottom, I want to get close up into the hair, the hair of my brow. I want to get as close to that as possible. And then I'm just going to shape it just with the natural curve of my brow and bring it down like so. Now, the thing about making your shape is the reason why I like to make my shape with a brow pencil is because if I mess up, I can always just wipe that off and go back. So step number two, you're going to get your eye liner brush or your uh, lip liner brush. Make sure that the tip is real. You see how I'm flattening it out and you're going to get choose the color of your choice of your concealer and you want to dab your concealer. You want to get it on. I guess I'll use this color right here on both sides. Get the tip on both sides and I like to start at the bottom. And so I'm going to go right, I'm going to take the very tip of that pencil and I'm going to go right up to that line and I'm applying pressure, guys. I'm applying pressure so that that glides on there like so. I'm going to dip it again and on the top, I'm going to go like so. And I'm using the flat side of my brush. Sometimes I might use the tip, just depends. You can use the tip and I'm applying pressure and I am just outlining right up against the line I made when I created my brow shape. So, like so. So now I like to go in with just, because I like my brow to stand out. So it is the focal point of your face. So. The brow is what will draw attention to your face. So you see that I have it all outlined. Now I'm going to take my 
blender and I'm just going to blend out because I used a lighter color and I'm going to blend out as much of that as I can, like so. Now, whatever, because I know I like to use a lighter um, concealer around my eye, it doesn't leave it doesn't leave a white cast because when I put my makeup on, that's going to cover all of that. So now that you have that blended, you see you have that blended. Now we're going to fill it in. So I like to start and with, I have a, this is a Morphe 70 or is this, no, wait, is it zero two? Girl, I can't even read. I'm going to let y'all know in the, um, down below but this is a morphe brush and this is a brow brush and the thing that i like about this brush is this part of it stays stiff you don't do not want a brush that's real bendy back and forth you want it to be stiff so that you can get precisely where you want to be so i dab dab my uh, it's almost out y'all but it's enough to make it through so i like to start at my tail right up here at the corner because my tail is going to be the darkest part of my brow. And I just start shading that in using the tip. See, I'm using the tip of my brush. And you also want this, this part of the brow, you also want that to be dark. So I'm darkening all of this back part and kind of middle part of my brow so now when I get up to the front I'm just very very lightly shading it and then I'm gonna take the flat part the flat part of my brush right here and I'm just gonna barely extend my brow at the end very lightly just to give it that shaded look then I'm gonna go in with my the tip to kind of give it an outline and you see, I'm still a little light up there. So I'm going to grab me some more product. And I'm going to darken up right up there where it needs to be dark at. So now you're going to take your um, brush and you're going to brush through all that shaded part and just kind of brush it up, spread it out. So you have that. Now I like to go in just in case I've made any mistakes and I kind of went out of line just a little bit right there. And so I got that. And then right down here, so I'm not at no new product no new product to to any of my brushes at this point and so i'm just going to blend that out and i'm going to blend out where i had to go back in up at the top and now you have the perfect brow thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video